my talk was about um, what I talk called democratizing data and how data can be used to start a new kind of social revolution and how we can extract completely new kinds of value from, from data that already exists. To get access to an application or a game or a service, you know, you need your address book, you need your geolocation. Um, and I see this as being something that's really important in terms of how we think about privacy and how we think about trust and how we think about radical transparency around data. Do we trust the people that we that are custodians of our data and are they doing the right thing for us with our data, not just serving as contextually relevant advertisements? I think we know it's happening, but I think we're also partly in denial about um, what's what's really going on. Um, because it's a business model, it's enabling thousands of startups to have a, a clear business model based on their data. The data is the oil of the entire social graph. Without data, it wouldn't work, because that's how the business model works. It's how the advertisers are able to provide value to their customers. It's all data driven. I don't think there's anything to be afraid of, to be perfectly honest with you. I, I, I think you always get extremes in the media of the Snowden story and extremes in the media of what Facebook are doing. Um, I think we should be curious. I think we should be educated and curious so that we can make informed decisions, especially for our children. We have the technology to solve everything and anything if we, if we choose to we can solve every problem that's facing mankind. We just have to make that decision and make that step. We can either keep making games, or we can say we want to educate 500 million girls, we want to provide food for 9 billion people. Because if we make that conscious decision, we will find ways to solve those problems. Thank you. We need research, we need to work with social scientists, we need to work with academics and researchers to help us validate the, the assumptions around human behavior. Um, so that's, that's, that's the reason why we're doing this. And we're very, very lucky that Lund University has embraced this project. We're getting a lot of support from influential people at the university, and it's the perfect place for us to be. Um, you know, it's, it's a center of learning excellence, and we're trying to build a product that is world-class, um, supported with excellent research and, 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 and with the backing of a research center.